the mail. What's up, everybody? My name is Scott Waters. Welcome to Life in the Middle. It's time for another big edition of... That's right, time for... The Mail. This edition of The Mail is brought to you by my good friend Darren Hildebrandt. Uh, the Music Vault on YouTube. And he sent me this package of music, which I... Assuming is uh, CDs. Um, unless he, like, maybe fold the record and put it in here, but... Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> so let's take a look. I got my handy knife. And we're going to cut into this puppy and see what we got in here. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been around. I've been super busy, which is good because that means I'm working. Uh, but I do have some great videos coming up, and uh, including uh, one that will be a Judas Priest versus Maiden video with a, with a good friend of mine, uh, as well as um, some... A ten inch, seven, excuse me, seven inch vinyl update videos and a few other things. Oh wow, there's more than just CDs in here. So that's it. Empty. All right. So what we have in here is a bunch of buttons, which is cool because I love buttons. I, I mean, if you were to walk around this room, you would see I have several very cool. Um, well, I think they're cool. <laughs> um, pin boxes, and they're just it's just huge frames full of metal pins, heavy metal bands, and rock bands, and stuff like that. So. Um, but anyhow, so here is a uh, Q107 Motley Crue pin from Canada. Looks like Red, White, and Crew. This is really cool because this is a band I really went into recently. This is uh, Beyond Creation, three pins from them. Beyond Creation are a progressive death thrash band from, uh, from Canada who are just freaking fantastic. Um, I can't tell who this one is. This is death metal for sure. But man, I cannot see who that is right now. It's got one of those unreadable logos and it's not clicking in my brain right away. So it's Darren or somebody else is going to have to tell me who those are. Um, unless I figure it out after the video is over. And then uh, finally one more pin. Oh, actually there's more pins inside here. Um, this is a... Guns N' Roses enamel pin, which is really cool. And then, okay, here's the CDs, and there is one more pin in here. Oh, another Q107. Oh, right on. Darren's favorite band, Rush. Uh, this is a Q107 Rush pin. So that's cool as well. Those Q107 pins are cool because they're unique and they're obviously, you know, not mass produced. Um, so those kind of things I'm into, and um, those definitely will go into one of my frames. All right, so we got some CDs in little baggies here. Um, Darren and I trade CDs and cassettes back and forth all the time. CDs, we usually stay away from sending the cases. There's no reason to send cases back and forth to each other, so we just keep the cases, and then when he sends me stuff, I put them in the cases I kept, and vice versa. So what we have here is a Groove thrash metal band from Denmark. Um... Amnemic, and I can honestly say I don't know this band, so I'm looking forward to checking them out. There's the back tray, the CD itself, and there's a picture of the band in the back. Amnemic, and see if I can see the year on here. Nuclear Blast 2004, so cool. Looking forward to checking them out. Uh, thrash metal from Denmark. His little sticker says that he put on there. And then next up we have death metal from Niagara Falls. And this is looks like Various. I'm just making sure. Various. The Great Tribulation. So there's this cover and there's a picture of the band on the back so this is cool when you get to discover like local stuff that isn't easily found around here and this is an EP it looks like a four song EP uh, 2019 self released so very cool next up another um, Canadian band this is the best of the guess who 
classic rock. Everybody knows who these guys are. I mean, American Woman is probably one of their biggest songs. Um, but the Guess Who was, I don't know, sort of like precursor to Bachman Turner Overdrive. So um, on the RCA label. And then here is the track listing here. Right on. And one, two more. This is Oblivion. Death Thrash from Quebec. Again, another Canadian band, Oblivion. Another one that I don't know, so I can't say much about it. But really cool. Anybody who does know, let me know what you know of them. What you think about them. And here's a picture of the band inside here. Uh, is there just two guys in the band? I guess there is. Or maybe I just need to open this thing up more. Yep, there's five guys in the band. There you go. This um, is from 1999 on... Hi I, uh, Hypnotic, the hypnotic label, hypnotic, not hypnotic, hypnotic, which I believe Voivod was on for a while too. And one more, this is the only band I do know. Um, I've actually seen them live, and they were okay. <laughs> they didn't impress me enough to to go out and buy their stuff, so uh, we'll have to see what I think of it. But this is Volbeat. Um, I believe they're from Denmark, and this album, which I can't see the name, is Outlaw Gentlemen and Shady Ladies. It looks like it's a two CD set, because there is two discs in here. So Volby, I know these guys are pretty popular. Um, like I said, I've seen them live a couple times, opening for other bands, um, and it just... I don't know. They just didn't do much for me when I heard them live, so I never really looked much into them beyond that. Uh, maybe you guys can give me some your opinion on what do you think of Volbeat. So uh, that's it for this little video from uh, my buddy Darren Hildebrandt. Uh, like I said, check out his channel on YouTube. It is um, I will put a link below so you can find him easy enough. And that's it. Appreciate y'all watching. God bless. Stay strong.